Hola, bonjour, hello. Welcome to Shantou's Tarot. Hi, everyone. Welcome. This is a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of February 2020. You could have Aquarius in your um, anywhere in your chart, sun, rise, <clears throat> rising, moon, Venus. Um, you could also be cross-watching for an Aquarius, or you could just be intuitively drawn to this uh, video, whatever the reason or season, I'm happy to have you. So um, let's get started. The bottom of the deck we have the Hierophant. So this card has to do with tradition, with commitment. Um, also, you could be religious and have met your partner in um, a religious group, um, like the church or synagogue, um, in mosque. Um, I'm picking up on that for some of you. Or you may not be religious at all, but for some of you, this may be the case. You may also be involved with a Taurus um, or have Taurus somewhere in your chart because Hierophant is associated with the sign of Taurus. Um, at the bottom of this heart spread, we have the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Leo. Um, this one of these fire signs could be significant in your partnership. Um, so the card on the left is um, a rather defensive energy. I think this person is defending their um, involvement with you or their interest in you. Uh, it could be from friends or family. It could be from coworkers. Who knows? Um, but they are not interested in... in um, receiving advice from the naysayers, that's quite clear. Um, the other thing I'm noticing is, so the Six of Wands is a card of victory. So this person, no matter what other people are saying um, negatively about the connection, um, one of you is is just seeing success. You're just seeing um, victory and um, positivity in regards to this um, connection. Ace of Wands, more fire energy, very passionate, um, lustful energy. Um, you know, this is a rather phallic symbol. So um, the connection between the two of you is very lustful and sexual. Um, aside from whatever emotional connection you have, you have a very intense physical attraction to each other. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, this is um, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, and the Knight of Wands, which is more fire energy. Ace of Pentacles is usually a practical offer or a seed, the beginning of something. So um, perhaps you're just starting out in your relationship and um, one of you wants to um, make sure that you start on the right foot, that um, you know, you're not interested in, for example, a one night stand or a, a temporary fling. You want something solid and, and serious with this person. The Knight of Wands is often a message. It could be that you're involved with a fire sign between the ages of like 20 and 30, uh, 25, 35. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Um, this person could also be an equestrian or really love horses. You or your, your partner that came to me suddenly, but, um, yeah, this is a message. One of you is ready to charge in and, um, move this connection forward in a, in a strong way. <clears throat> So we have the sun and the seven of cups. The sun is affiliated with the sign of Leo. So Leo could be significant. Um, also, the sunflower could be a favorite bloom of one of you, um, you or your partner. Seven of cups is water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. One of you could be unsure about your feelings for the other. Um, yeah, I get the feeling that one of you may be more secure in the connection than the other. The other may be trying to either figure out how they want to move forward or uh, unsure of exactly how they feel. So they're, they're sorting that out. They're trying to, to, um, to gain clarity. Uh, one of you could also be in the spotlight, perhaps a performer. 
because um, you can't hide in the sun, right? It's very bright and it shines right down upon you. And I'm looking at this woman in, in the sunlight and she seems very comfortable um, being exposed. So I think one of you may um, be uh, the, the target of a lot of attention and the other may not know how they feel about that exactly. It may be something that is um, disconcerting for the other person. Two of Pentacles and Page of Cups. So um, Two of Pentacles is more Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Page of Cups is water energy, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, one of you is trying to find balance, and I feel like this is balance within. It could be sometimes it's interpreted as juggling, um, like juggling people, but I don't get that sense here. I feel like this person is trying to find balance within themselves. Um, and they're so focused on finding this inner balance that they are not actively receiving the offer of love or commitment that the other is, is presenting. So see, they're not, they're not meeting each other eye to eye. Um, this person is very much focused on practical things, perhaps, perhaps work and, um, feeling grounded. And this person is really focused on this affection and love and um and romance so i don't think you're seeing quite eye to eye more water energy um scorpio cancer pisces so i have six of cups and four of cups six of cups often has to do with someone you've known from youth or childhood or it could be a soulmate connection you could feel like you've known someone for a much longer time than you actually have known them uh, in the physical um in this lifetime four of cups again one of you is distracted you, you don't see that the other is offering affection and love um, I do, uh, pay attention to numerology. So if you add the six and four together, you do get 10. 10 of cups is the ultimate, um, emotional fulfillment card. It's joy, it's love, family, passion. Um, so I think that is possible in this connection, whether you're already established couple or, um, this is just a love interest that you have in mind, someone, um, with whom you, you want to develop a relationship um, a happy ending is possible here, uh, but at this very moment, I see that it's a bit imbalanced. Um, that does not mean that that balance can't change. Finally, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So see, this is more Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is um, the ultimate family card, and um, it has to do with practicality, with um, family, with... Um, inheritance with legacy, um, multiple generations. This is a lasting commitment, partnership that results in a beautiful, um, blossoming family. So if that's something that you have with this person or that you want with this person, the energy is, is looking um, very supportive of that type of, of union. Um, it could be that one of you is slightly older than the other, or there's a large age difference, not necessarily. Um, you could own a pet or want to get pets together. That's a nice way to transition um, in your relationship to have something that you care for together. If you're not interested in having a family or not interested in beginning a family now, um, having a pet is a nice way to share responsibility for um another creature without the commitment of parenthood. Um, so that could be something you're considering. If you are, I say go for it. I'm an animal lover, so I'm always on board for adoption or welcoming a new um, fur baby into your home. Um, I'd like to end the love readings this month with an oracle card from... The Mastery of Love Cards by Don Miguel Ruiz. And um, they're actually companion cards to a book by the same name, The Mastery of Love. And I actually just came across them while I was looking for a different Oracle deck. So I took that as a sign to include a card um, for um, each love reading this month. Okay, so 
The card that I pulled for you, Aquarius, love is responsible for its actions. That is so sweet. And let's read the back. Everything you think, everything you do has a consequence and you are going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or another. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. So um, this is lovely. It's just a reminder that no matter how distracted or angry or frustrated you may get, either with your partner or potential partner or just in general, even if it doesn't involve uh, your partner, you're still responsible for the way that you behave and the actions that you take. Um, I need this reminder myself sometimes. I feel really awful physically or I'm heavily sleep deprived. And it's, you know, understandable. If you're not feeling your best, it's hard to be your best in a relationship with another person. But just remember that no matter how you're feeling, um, that you should always come from a place of love and compassion in, in your treatment towards others. So Aquarius, I hope this message was helpful. Um, if it resonated, fantastic. I ask that you please leave a comment, share, like, subscribe. If it didn't resonate, that's okay. It wasn't your message. If parts of it resonated, take what did and leave the rest. I'm wishing you so much love and light wherever you are in the world. And I hope the new year is treating you well. Take care.